Hello, welcome, Cabbage here. Uh, so today I'm going to present uh, a top 10 monsters list. Uh, but this is going to be a um, kind of a mishmash of different JP players um, of their lists, of their uh, top 10 monsters. Um, so I took their, uh, there's four of them, uh, Shiro, uh, Naoshika no O, Taiga Sakurai, and Shiro. Uh, they're all uh, YouTubers and they presented their top 10 lists um, earlier this year, I think maybe February, March, I don't remember, but yeah, a little while ago. So I took their four lists, and then I took out all of the characters that we don't have yet, and then I made a, um, um, a list of their characters they chose, um, and then sort of ranked uh, based on how many times a character was mentioned, and uh, how high up on the list. And then uh, these four guys, they, um, they chose these characters, sort of coming from different angles, um, looking for different things. Um, Taiga Sakurai was interested mostly in people that could uh, be good for Hakua. And then uh, Shiroa was more interested in like high damage output um, strike shots and bump combos. And then um, the other two, they were a little bit more... Well, Naoshika no, he's kind of a quirky guy, so he had some quirky picks in his. And then uh, Shiro, he's the most maybe uh, conservative, or the most uh, straight shooting of them. So this list will be a little bit, uh, you know, here and there, but it'll still be useful, I think. And then uh, the characters from 1 to 4, um, those are very, um, those are very well defined in their ranking. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, you know, different characters were mentioned more times than others in higher spots, so that's why they're higher. Uh, the monsters 5 through 10, uh, they were all mentioned once uh, by just one guy. Um, so their ranking is a little bit arbitrary, but just to make it more uh, list-like, I'll uh, put numbers on them. And then, uh, yeah, again, uh, this, these are not my opinions. Uh, I might do a video about my uh, picks for the uh, top 10 monsters uh, that are available to our English version right now in a future video. So, Alrighty, well, let's go right on ahead. Uh, so number 10 is uh, Marishten. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this guy was chosen by uh, Shiroa, uh, who is interested in high damage um, strike shots. And that is exactly what Marishten has. Um, he's got the, uh, the one where he creates the barrier and then, um, you know, moves around in it. Um, but with the strike shot, you can do a, a hit stop. Uh, which is, um, it can skip gauges, uh, it can skip multiple gauges, and then, you know, finish a mission for you, just like that. Um, it does take positioning and uh, timing, uh, but if you can get it right, then you can uh, do the ultimate in damage. Tens of millions of uh, damage. And then uh, also his uh, Minesweeper No Warp is kind of an unusual uh, ability set as well, so uh, that might be another reason why he chose him. So number 10, uh, Marishten. And he's actually the only uh, drop monster on this list, so that's kind of cool. Okay, number nine is uh, Hunter King, also chosen by Shiroa. And um, yeah, he too has an ultimate damage strike shot, the, uh, the wall bound strike shot. Uh, but he also has the, uh, the one way laser, uh, which is uh, super strong. Uh, some people would say it's kind of outdated. Um, you know, we've uh, had the one-way lock-on one-way laser introduced to us lately. Uh, but this is still super strong, and it has one distinct advantage in that it will go exactly where you want it to go. Uh, the lock-on one-way laser might be drawn off by a uh, random shield and be wasted, uh, but the one-way laser that points up is always going to go where you expect it. So yeah, pretty darn good. Okay, that was number eight, Hunter King. Uh, number seven, no, number nine was Hunter King. Number eight is uh, Susano here. And um, he was chosen by uh, Shiro, who um, kind of chooses guys the most, um, he's sort of the, the one, the most popular one, I guess you could say. He uh, chooses the most popular characters. And uh, yeah, this guy is used mainly just for his bump combo, uh, which is super strong. Uh, he's got the lock-on one-way laser, uh, so it's the lock-on version of uh, Hunter King's uh, bump combo. Uh, but he also has the uh, slice and dice. And then uh, one nice thing about the uh, transcendent forms is that their main and their sub bump combos are both at full strength. 
Um, so yeah, if you can get this in a boss's weak point, it would be lots and lots of damage. So yeah, number eight, uh, Susano Transcendent. Uh, number seven, I will go over here to our new hatchers. And that is uh, Jekyll and Hyde Ascension. And uh, this is kind of an oddball pick, uh, but it was chosen by an oddball player, which is uh, Naushka no O. Um, but he kind of put this guy on his list just to sort of raise awareness about how strong this guy really is. Um, he is a uh, Pierce uh, no damage wall, uh, which is actually one of my favorite uh, combinations of uh, skills. And uh, he also has a uh, null magic circle, uh, which is a, a new gimmick that we need to deal with. And uh, not a lot of characters have Null Magic Circle, so it's uh, pretty uh, precious. Um, but even without that, he's super usable. And then uh, he has a very strong uh, Command Strike shot, uh, which takes uh, 26 turns. That's uh, definitely on the high side for a Command Strike shot. And then uh, he has a new bump combo, the Rebound Spread Shot. And then uh, he's the, uh, the first guy in our English version of the game to get it. And it's very, very strong. Uh, if you're lucky enough to pull uh, Jekyll and Hyde, uh, give that a try, I think you'll be pleased. <laughs> so that was number seven, Jekyll and Hyde. Uh, and then number six is... Number six is here, Sinbad Ascension. And um, yeah, of all of the, uh, the Bounce, Null Gravity Barrier, Water guys with just that single ability, Sinbad is maybe the best or the second best in the game. And uh, he's got a great uh, combination of a Command Strike Shot and a uh, Speed Up Bump Combo. Uh, both of which are very useful. And uh, they're useful together as well. And uh, he was chosen by um, Taiga Sakurai, whose uh, list was skewed towards uh, guys that are good for Hakua. Alright, so that was number 6, uh, Sinbad Ascension. And uh, number five is uh, Benkei Ascension. And uh, he was also chosen by Taiga Sakurai, uh, not for his Hakua hunting ability, uh, but because of the fact that his Minesweeper No Warp is um, pretty unique. Uh, I don't think any other character except for uh, Marishten has this uh, double null ability. So that's why he chose him. And then he also has the same uh, ultimate damage strike shot as uh, Hunter King, which is the wallbound strike shot. Um, so yeah, another reason that he's uh, very, very highly rated. So number five, Benkei Ascension. And then uh, the difference uh, between five through ten and then one through four is very, very great. Uh, the characters that are from one to four are very, they're top level, so. Um, but they're also more easily uh, ranked um, because uh, they were mentioned, um, you know, different amount of times by different people, so. Okay, so number four. Unfortunately, I do not have on this device, so we'll go to the Monsterpedia. Number four is uh, Agnamut X, and uh, she was mentioned by two of the uh, four guys. Um, she has uh, pretty good stats for a speed type, um, but she has uh, Minesweeper XL, and I believe she's the only one still with that. Um, so when she picks up a mine, she gets three times the attack, which is insane. And then uh, couple that with a uh, Null Gravity Barrier, and uh, she has one of the more versatile double Null ability sets. Um, she has a uh, pretty strong bump combo, which is the White Blast. That has a big radius, so it sets off a lot of uh, other bump combos. And uh, the Homing Piercer, which is uh, pretty strong, actually. Uh, it would actually even be worth putting a um, Sidekick Able Berry on her. And then uh, yet another strong point of her is her uh, Strike Shot. Uh, which is the uh, fly around and then send guys up into the uh, enemies up into the air. And uh, this is very versatile because you can use it either like a Meteor Strike Shot, where you try to hit everybody once or twice, um, or if you get rid of all of the little guys around, then you can concentrate each hit on the boss and do, you know, two, three million damage. So, uh, and it charges up pretty quickly too. So yeah, pretty great. Uh, Agamut X, number four. Uh, number three is... Number three is Arthur Ascension. And um, yeah, she's terrific. Um, very easy to use. Uh, no gauge. 
and then maybe one of the best uh, double null ability sets in the game. Null damage wall and null gravity barrier. Um, she has an easy to use uh, strike shot as well, just a uh, point and shoot. And then a uh, lock on one way laser, which is also easy to use. So yeah, she's uh, one of the most ratio of ease of use to strength. She's way at the top. Um, but she is not number two or number one um, because she doesn't do well in stages with laser barriers, which we're seeing more and more of, and she doesn't do well in stages with mines, which we're also seeing more and more of. Um, but for missions outside of those, um, she's top class easily. And uh, yeah, she was also mentioned by, um, oh, she was mentioned uh, by three of the four guys actually, so very, very good. Uh, number two is uh, Striker, Transcendent. And then, uh, yeah, he is um, higher than Arthur, I figured, um, because he was mentioned by all four of the guys. And then um, his stats are much, much higher. <laughs> if you just put one of one Striker on your team, that raises your hit points, you know, way, way up. So he could be an excellent tank for you. Um, he also has Flight, uh, which helps him um, deal with mines, whereas um, Arthur cannot. Uh, he has no damage wall, which is nice too. Uh, allows him to go to more missions. And then uh, he has a Counter Slayer, and he's currently the only one with Counter Slayer. And uh, this is kind of sneakily powerful. Um, it's easy to forget that it's there, um, but it does enable him to get the uh, Slayer ability on whoever hits him last, so uh, that just adds to his versatility. Um, his Strike Shot is very strong. Uh, easy to use too, it's the uh, the Bash Strike Shot, it can do over a million damage. And then um, he has a very uh, kind of wide-ranging uh, bump combo, it fills the screen almost. Uh, he has the 8-way laser, um, which can be blocked by uh, laser barriers as well. Uh, but he also has a uh, energy circle, which can't be blocked by anything. Um, so in that way he kind of edges out Arthur as well. Um, so yeah, Striker Transcendent, number 2. And then number one is uh, Lucifer, Ascension. And uh, yeah, she's got three things going for her. Uh, barrier, which nobody else has. The Grand Command Strike Shot, which almost nobody has. And then a uh, Energy Circle L, uh, with her being a Blast Type, which she's also the only one. <laughs> so all three of those things together are just insane. Um, barrier allows her to ignore um, kind of lots of attacks and also status effects uh, in the beginning of the stage. Um, her strike shot is super versatile. Uh, you can use it to clear a field of little guys, you can use it to do a lot of damage to the boss, uh, you can use it to grab hearts, you can use it to move out of bad position. It's just amazing. It does everything. And then uh, her bump combo, yeah. Um, it's like a, a power type's one-way laser, uh, but it goes in a circle around her. So in that sense, it's easier to uh, position and use. Um, the thing about her though, is, or the thing about her bump combo, um, is that the way that the levels are designed more recently, um, there's lots more uh, guys kind of packed in there. Um, and so the, uh, the enemies that are right next to Lucifer, uh, they won't be hit by the energy circle. Um, so there is that demerit. Um, but it's minor, and Lucy is still the best character in the game for us right now. And uh, she was mentioned by all four of the, uh, the guys. Um, so yeah, I'm very confident that Lucy is uh, number one right now. Okay, so that was the uh, kind of the JP uh, mishmash list of the best characters uh, adapted for our English game right now. And then, uh, yeah, maybe later I'll make a list about uh, my personal uh, top 10. Um, so yeah, you can look forward to that. All right, thanks for watching. Take care.